Yes, welcome. And then to help us do this, uh, the newspaper review segment we have. So, Ujumad, we want to say welcome. Thank you. Uh, this uh, it's like um, you, 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 you are prepared for us today. Yes, thank you. Okay. Me. Well, let's start uh, with the ABS website. Bishop Ezufal's wife, uh, Chigere, clocks 50, Aguata Diocese celebrates. The scholarship, uh, Senator made disburses 10 million to over 118 students. Think on philosophy. Moon Dianambra moved to invest in the state. And down there, we have Christian start to issue immorality of whole service to God and humanity. Um, which you want to start from the bottom and from the top? Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what we have there. Uh, um, Bishop is of us, wife, talks 50, and Aguata, they are celebrating that. Uh, or do we take the scholarship? Or we made these bosses uh, 10 million to. Okay, let me, let me take the uh, scholarship scheme. Uh, we know Senator Vic Tume, uh, the former national uh, chairman of All Progressive Grand Alliance, has been a philanthropist of uh, some sort. And um, now that he's in the Senate, as he promised when he was campaigning, that he would touch the lives of the people of Anambra State, particularly those in Anambra Central, and he's doing it by dispersing this amount. It shows... And, and, and he's doing just And that. he's just doing oh, oh, Okay, the, the uh, state code philosophy of a thing, Mondi Anambra investing in the state, do you attest uh, to that? Uh, yes, I... You know, when this administration came on board, uh, the promise was that it was going to attract Anambra people in the diaspora to come home and invest. And with the uh, conducive atmosphere provided by the administration, many people are here now investing. Uh, we can point out many investments that are already on ground in this state. And everybody is happy with that. Okay. All right, move on to uh, the Orient Daily. That's the next paper we have. All right, the very first paper this morning. Stories making the headlines. Nema receives 3 billion naira to tackle flood crisis. Now that's the top story. On top of that, we've got 10,000 indigenous civil servants for a number of health insurance scheme. Uwazurike demands release of detained MASAB member. You get that on page 5 of Orient Daily. Nigeria needs cultural rebirth to tackle unrest. That's coming from the president himself, Buhari. Custom intercepts truckload of military uniforms, drugs in a way. Corruption case, Odikalu reacts to revo revocation of bail. World Bank approves 62 micro projects in Kogi. Swiss government denies IPOB leaders visa. Abia couple hospitalized after kerosene explosion cry for help. The big story, let, let just take the, Nema receives uh, 3 billion naira to tackle flood crisis. crisis. Uh, do you think uh, the amount has been spent there is several? Yeah, I think, I think with the uh, magnitude of flood we have this season, that amount, I don't know whether it's, it's enough, but you know many states, including our own Anambra states, are involved, are affected by this menacing flood. And um, I don't wonder how that amount would go around mm. to all the states affected. Last week, we read of uh, what happened in Kogi State, where over 100 communities were submerged, and um, many people are homeless as it is. In Anambra State here, there are many IDC camps already established, and people in Obaru, in uh, Ayamelum, in Anambra West are, have left their homes, and they are living in camps. And this amount should go to them to sustain them during the, this period. And we wonder how much we'll get from NEMA from that amount. So to me, this amount is uh, not, well, 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 not maybe, enough. Maybe just for the first phase, maybe on the we second. Hope, we yeah, hope, we, so. we, we hope, hope so. more will be given to, we hope so. to really tackle that. Now, let's move to Sun Daily. Daily Sun, this paper. What we have there, the uh, banner headline, EFCC puts a kitty governor, fire share on watch lists with the rider, customs orders his arrest at border, fire share alleges bias and witch hunt. Now there we have politicians plotting to derail 2019 polls. APC, we can't scuttle election we win, says uh, CUPP. Uh, FGHSBS fights gets Mesa. 
Well, let's take the banner headline. APA, yes. EFCC pulls a kitty fire share on watch list. And then <laughs> you know, other seats are rest at the bottom. You know, there's been a running battle <laughs> between the Ekiti State Governor of Iowa Fire Share and the APC led federal government. And now that he's on the, uh, the uh, twilight of his administration, the expectation is that they will go after him. Already they had given him a notice that he should be reporting even before his uh, due uh, mm. termination date. Why, why order his arrest at the border? Because uh, the, the, the fear maybe is that he might leave before the handover date mm -hmm. for him. And they are looking at, they are look, in fact, the issue with EFCC and Fireshare is such that it, it looks like it's a personal thing. Mm. This is some, it's a sitting governor. It should be given time to conclude and he, hand over. He, he immunity not covering him anymore. For now, he has the immunity. So we wonder why they're after him. For now, they should wait for him. When he hands over, then they... they, they, they okay. okay. Well, let's move on. The, 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 the Daily Times. Daily paper. Times. Stories making the headlines this morning. Uh, we have lobby for Ade Oshun's replacement begins. Buhari under pressure to appoint new finance minister Amosun or the stakeholders meet over eligible candidate. How bank loans to deposit ratio dropped amidst uncertainty as all tier one banks listed on NSC report drops in loans advances to customers. Without Nigeria, no demographic dividends in Africa. That's coming from UNFPA. EFCC denies freezing Senator Deleke Davido's account wants custom to put fire she on the watch list. Well, let's look at the big story. Lobby for Ade Oshun's replacement begins. Buhari is under pressure to appoint a new finance minister. And of course, some other governors are beginning to meet the president, you know, for an available candidate. Now, let's talk about that. Ade Oshun resigned. The issue of Ade Oshun is really unfortunate. It's a, a situation where whether she knew what happened, because she said she didn't know the NYC certificate she had was forged. And we just begin to wonder, there are many people with such fake certificates working in various offices in this country. I think her case came up because she was a minister. If she was working in some other place, nobody would have found out. And that comes to this issue of wanting to cut corners when, some, when something like this happens. When she studied, she studied abroad, if she had genuinely gone to the NYC and registered like all that, there were many people when we served, there were many people who came from abroad, they served, and just one year, so we were, we were even working and enjoying their actual pay just to get a certificate. So for her to have uh, indulged in, you know, going to get the, uh, what do they call it, for, uh, forged NYC certificate. It was unfortunate. Okay. All right. Moving uh, on. Uh, let's go to Punch newspaper. Well, remember that you can call us with the numbers on your screen there. Punch newspaper. We have uh, still EFCC custom place fire share on watch list. We've talking that. We've taken that uh, down there. Let's take a flood sacks five Quara communities. Uh, down there we have uh, those plotting to impeach me would succeed. Saraki is talking here. Uh, five killed as uh, Boko Haram terrorists ambush troops in Borono. Uh, I think we've taken the um, uh, fire share stuff and EFCC. Yes, yes. Let's look at uh, uh, um, Saraki. Saraki saying that this point of impeachment will not succeed. Well, uh, Saraki can just go like a cat with the nine, what, how do they put it? Cat with the nine lives. Nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's a pain in the neck of this administration. And they know it. Okay. And for the fact that he has declared for the presidency, it's also frightening to them. They know it. All right. There's this, there's this um, interesting story on top of the punch. If you um, yeah. look at it, certificate forgery. We're still talking about Ade yeah. Now, PDB says that she must return all salaries of this trial. Uh. <laughs> of course, like you said, it's a forged certificate. Yeah, so forged. probably she, should, she shouldn't have gotten the job. Yes, and now the PDB is saying she should return all salaries of this trial. Let it be proved that she knew what happened. If it is investigated properly and it, it, it found out that she actually knew about the forgery, then whatever, anybody can go to court to challenge 
all the emoluments she has been receiving. <laughs> okay, let's move to Nigerian Tribune. AFCC places for a share on the watch list a lot custom. Well, placing me on watch list after not notification. Petty says fire share. The FCC didn't freeze a delicate account spokesman. Ambody loyalists may write a APC and WC over mode of primaries. All right, um, we'll see bad your economic management team meet on minimum wage Tuesday. Buhari urges Equus to meet 2020 goal of single currency. Reps vows to defend Dogara against impeachment. Presidency attack on HSBC hypocritical. That's coming from Atiku. Well, let's look at Dambo Sibajo economic management team meets on minimum wage on Tuesday. Yeah, that minimum wage issue. You know, the Minister of Labor and Employment, our own dear Senator Chris Ngige, have been working on that. The unfortunate thing is that they, have, they appear not to be a headway so far. While the labor is insisting on a staggering amount of uh, 90,000 minimum wage, the federal government says it's consisting about 50 or so, and they have not agreed. The last time uh, we spoke with the minister, he was saying that um, the team for the federal government was ready, the labor was ready, there was a third party, the uh, organized private sector that ought to be involved. They have not agreed as we speak, and it's unfortunate. To many people, this thing is playing out because election is coming. Election is coming, and they are using minimum wage to play politics. Next on the line is uh, the Guardian newspaper. Let's see what we have there, the Guardian newspaper, and the uh, banner headline there says, Uneasy over stolen jades at Lagos Airport. With the rider there, parties... Uh, in presidency allegedly remove share aircraft court slams contempt order in NC, NCAA uh, fan and other orders will meet in court says apex regulator I think we'll talk about that yes the, is over stolen jets, jets at Lagos at airport. airport and uh, trade of words the presidency said some people removed uh, caught the individual has seen. You know, you know, if you go to uh, Lagos, Moritala Mohammed International Airport, I mean, it's like an abandoned motor park. <laughs> so many abandoned aeroplanes, and you know, many Nigerians are so rich that they just park their aircraft there, and they are supposed to be paying, you know, every day for having those aircrafts sleep overnight. But for, for us to now read... So, but this is, this is quite strange. Um, on ease over stolen jets. How can, I don't understand. How uh -huh. would a jet that be is, stolen in the uh, That means there must be a connivance. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it may the owner of the aircraft be. cannot just go there and uh, yeah. fly the aircraft. And, and, and besides, the people that are working there must have connived with the those so, so, so many people must have been involved. So I think the security operatives should now know I know what to do about it. They know who to meet to find out who actually was involved. Okay. All right, let's quickly go to the next paper, uh, Daily, Daily Independent. Independent. Well, there are mm -hmm. lots of stories on this one. Uh, the banner headline 2019, Ambody may withdraw from governorship race. Mm -hmm. uh, God has prepared me to be the next governor. That's coming from Samuel Luke. Mandate group wants governor against anti-party activities. On top of Daily Independence this morning, police commission sets to review lopsided promotions. Dixon lobbied for Jonathan to be acting president. Tamboa, PDP to NAS, prop alleged 10 trillion naira sleaze by presidency. Kemia Deoshun's resignation shows Anna integrity. That's coming from APC. No amount of intimidation will make me leave PDP. Fayoshe is saying that as EFCC asks customs to place him on watch list. Oshupu, please deploy 30 APCs, two helicopters, others. Benue government accuses Akume of plots to destabilize state. Now let's look at the big one. 2019, Ambody may withdraw from the governorship race. Well, we've been hearing a lot of stories that um, um, Tinubu, Bola Tinubu has backed out yes. from Ambody. The problem yes. of Godfatherism is still playing out again. We thought we are going, uh, we are. Uh, um, we, are, we, are, we are coming away from that, but what is happening in Lagos State is, is unfortunate. We don't know what has come between the Godfather himself 
Asiwaju and Governor Ambode, he was the person that actually installed him. And we don't know what the, man, the young man did in the past four years that will warrant his being dropped for a different person altogether. And uh, it's unfortunate that this is happening. The way Lagos is, you know, it's, it's a one party state. Mm. Once the Godfather decides, that's the. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's it. it. Okay, now, uh, police commission sets to review lopsided promotions. That's the one on top of uh, Daily Independent. Do we really have. Uh, uh, no, I think we have it. What I was going to say, I mean, have we actually exhibited some uh, sanity in the way people get promotion in this country. If you look at the lineup of the top hierarchy of the police, you know it's lopsided. It's still favoring a section of the country. And uh, we have a police service commission that is supposed to you know, consider taking into account the federal character in the promotions. It's not just the qualification or experience. You also look at the various segments of the country because this is a security issue. But we find out that um, godfathers are also playing out in the promotion of uh, uh, policemen in this country. Okay, finally, Kemi uh, Adiosho's resignation shows honor, integrity. The APC people are now talking. Do you agree to that? Well, for her to resign, it's uh, one decision that you can hardly get in this country. Nobody wants to leave office, even when that person is found to be corrupt. But for her to have taken that decision to resign, it shows some maturity. It gives credence to her background, you know, as somebody who comes from a well-respected family. And as a professional, she can still get employment somewhere. But, but, but where my worry is, uh, she said she said that uh, she presented that certificate when she was being screened at the issue, and all the screening she has passed through, she presented <laughs> all that. How come that they didn't see it? Not until now. And then the the appointment given to her was they didn't come from the blues. He passes through all the protocols. So how come now? But you know what happens in Nigeria. If people are using forged certificate to be where they are today is all over the place. It's only when maybe somebody wants to undo you that such Those details, yeah, out. that such details. So, so after all, does it mean that certificate really doesn't count <laughs> anyway <laughs> in Nigeria? Does it mean does that it? certificate doesn't count because a whole lot of people are using forged I'm certificate? I'm sure if, if we screen all the people working for federal government today, yeah, you, discover, you discover more forged, more people use that got in there with you uh, for certificates well are you saying that uh, uh Adiyoshi has set the pace down for individuals who are found culpable the best thing they will do is to train the top i think too, once 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 you are once you are found to have done something that is uh, on, on, on toward unlawful the best thing is for you to leave well that is the the international practice i think we are yet to get to that level but uh, uh Adiyoshi but have, we actually uh, have shown an example which yeah. It's um, people should emulate. It shows honor and should, integrity, yes. as the APC has yes. said. Well, we must thank you so much, uh, Ujum Madu, for really coming on board to uh, join us in this newspaper headlines uh, segment of the uh, Good Morning Anambra. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much.